found the best guard build that works for everyone's play style in NBA 2K24. This is hands down the best guard build I have made. And now it is time everyone should be having fun as Christmas is right around the corner. And hopefully you guys are getting blessed with some VC. So it's time to make a new build. Now this build has two variations. So stick around until the end so you guys can see which build fits your play style the best. You were able to get contact dunks. You can shoot from anywhere on the floor consistently. You get every dribble move you could imagine. And the best part about this build is the defense is really good. And on top of all of that, I'll be giving you guys the best jump shot for this build. I'll be giving you guys the best dribble moves and as well as the best settings to use when playing NBA 2K24. But really quick, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And once you guys have made it to the My Player Builder, we are going to click A or X to create new build. Now this screen should pop up that says Rebirth. If you have done your quest, you've talked to Ronnie and you guys have gotten to a 90 over on a different build, you should see this where it says, would you like to create this save as a Rebirth player? Rebirth players get a head start on their career. An initial max overall of 90, silver level badges unlocked once attribute requirements are met, and you get 5% badge level progression boost. Obviously, if you have it, select yes. If not, get a build to 90 overall and then go back into the builder and it should pop up. Then once you guys see this screen, you can now create your own build. You can use an NBA template or you can use a community build. For this sake, we're going to create our own build. Once you fill out your first and last name, it is time for our hand in this. I always go left-handed. Let me know who else is team left-handed in the comments down below. I swear you shoot better as a left-handed player in 2K. I don't know why, it just feels like that. Jersey number doesn't matter, so let's continue on. Now it is time to choose our position, our height, our weight, our wingspan. You guys need to pay attention very carefully because if you mess up, it's going to mess up the entire build and I don't want you guys to waste your money. Now the position of our build is a point guard. The height of our build is going to be six foot six. Once you do that, let's move on to our weight. We're going to take our weight and bring this all the way to the left, which is minimum weight and it should be 180 pounds. And now for the wingspan, this is all personal preference, but for my build, if you want to copy my exact build, we're going to go seven feet, one inch wingspan. Now let's continue on and set our my player's potential. The first category we have is our finishing category. And like I said, this build has two variations. So make sure you guys see how I make both builds and then select the build that fits your play style more. Starting with our close shot, we're going to bring this up to a 52 close shot. Our driving layup, we're going to bring this all the way up to a 72 driving layup. I realized this year, that's all you need for layup. Like honestly, you can get away with a lower driving layup. But for this specific build, the first variation, it's going to be a 72 for your minimum layup. Now our driving dunk, we're going to bring this up all the way to an 87, which allows us to get contact dunks. Now you don't get all of the contact dunks, but you are able to get contact dunks. Now our standing dunk automatically goes up with it, but we are not going to touch this and we are not going to touch post control either. Now for our shooting category, we have our mid range shot, three point shot and free throw. The first thing I'm going to say with this, you guys will see, I do not have free throw on my build. So if you guys like to play rec, if you guys like to play my career, any game mode that needs free throw, you guys can adjust different stats accordingly and then fill up for what you need, if that makes sense. So for our mid-range shot, we're bringing this up to a 69 overall. Now, I know that's not very high, but I'm going to explain this in a little bit. Our three-point shot, we're bringing this up to a 78, okay? 78 three-point shot just like that. And then for our free throw, we're going to bring this only up to a 61. Now, I've been using this for months, and I love this. This is all you need in NBA 2K24. But if you guys just play this game more casually and you're not as advanced, you're not as consistent with a lower three-point rating, I recommend you guys making my second variation of my build. But if you guys play the game a lot and you guys know how to shoot with a 78 three ball, a 69 midi, I recommend this build over the other one. Now, moving on to the playmaking category, our pass accuracy, we're going to bring this up to a 77. Now, a lot of people argue with this category right here for what you need. I think anything within the 70 overall for your pass accuracy will be perfectly fine. But for me, I go 77. It just gives me me less chance of getting my ball intercepted. Now for the ball handle, you guys are going to like this a lot. If you guys like to dribble, we are going to bring this all the way up to a 92 ball handle, which I'm pretty sure it's one less than max. Yeah. A 92 ball handle, which allows us to get damn near every single dribble move in the game. Our speed with ball, we are going to bring this all the way up. We're going to max this out. This is what makes us really fast in the game. We are a six foot six point guard build. And when being this fast, you guys will be able to blow past your defender 
nine times out of 10. Not many builds have the speed to keep up with this. Now, moving on to the defensive category, we're going to bring this all the way up to a 60 interior defense. Now, this six foot six point guard build has really good defense, in my opinion. Let me fill this out and you guys will see for yourselves. Now, our perimeter defense, we're going to bring this all the way up to a 87 perimeter defense. Now, moving on to our steel, we're going to bring this up to an 85, which is great. You guys get a lot of rips with an 85 steel. Now, for our block rating, we're going to bring this all the way up to a 70, just like that. Okay. We're going to leave our defensive rebound at 42 and our offensive rebound at 42 as well. And now for our physicals, we're going to keep our speed at an 81. This is all we need for our speed. We're going to bring our acceleration all the way up to an 86. We're going to keep our strength here. Our vertical goes all the way up to a 75. And then we should be able to max out our stamina. And that should give us a 99 potential. You guys will be able to choose a few stats of what you would want to upgrade. If you guys play rec, you can put the rest on free throw and end with the 65. If you guys like to play the ones court, you guys can put this on interior defense. Or if you just want better defense in general, you could have better block. Me personally, if I had to put something on this build, I would put it on block. So here is the first variation of my six foot six point guard build. Now I'm not going to go through every single badge because i feel like it gets repetitive if you want to pause the video at any time to see what badges you get exactly on this build feel free to do so really quick 87 percent of you guys who watch my videos every single day are not subscribed if you like this build click that subscribe button the first variation of my build is called a two-way floor spacing slasher now that you guys have seen the first variation i'm gonna give you guys the best jump shot for this build the best dribble moves for this build and the best settings for this build Build. Now, the jump shot that I use for my six foot six two way floor spacing slasher is base JT Thor. If you guys played a lot of NBA 2K23, base JT Thor is base LaMelo Ball from last year, okay? Upper release one, I like to use Sadiq Bay. Where is that at? Right here. So it's on page number three, upper release one, Sadiq Bay. Release number two I use is James Harden. Now, I have been using these releases since day one of NBA 2K24 with this base as well now the release speed for this jump shot i like to go three out of four speed it's just so much easier for me to time and it's so much more consistent but that is all my opinion if you guys think it's easier to shoot four out of four use four out of four if it's too fast go down three out of four it works perfectly i have never struggled with this jump shot all year now let me show you guys all of my scoring moves and my playmaking moves so you guys can score in the most efficient way possible starting with our scoring moves we're gonna go down the line our layup style style default swing dunk style i only have a few dunks created but i'll show you that in a second dribble pull up kobe bryant it's super easy to time for me and it is very smooth post fade i have post fade two motion style i use paul george now for the playmaking moves i have gone through so many dribble moves but these are the ones that i love the most pass style none it is not needed dribble style pro signature size up Dwayne wade regular breakdown combo penny hardaway aggressive breakdown combo michael jordan escape move Kemba Walker. Combo moves, De'Aaron Fox. Crossover, Kobe Bryant. Behind the back, Jamal Murray. Spin, Penny Hardaway. Hesitation, Kobe Bryant. Step back, John Wall. Triple threat style, Kobe Bryant. The only thing that I have in my dunk creator, like I said, we do get contact dunks. We get the pro contact dunks. Obviously, they're the only contact dunks that we can get, so obviously, we're gonna use them. And then, in my opinion, the best dunk is LeBron James. You guys see the dunks right here. You guys can take off from literally anywhere. LeBron James, in my opinion, is the best dunk package. Now, for the settings of my build, the number one thing you wanna do is turn on your shot feedback. It determines whether or not you will see your shot feedback after shooting shooting so then if you guys are shooting slightly early slightly late you guys will know based off the feedback what it tells you obviously have your gameplay indicators on your perfect release animations on your player icons your takeover icons make sure everything is on now for the controller settings these are my personal favorite shot vibration turn them on shot timing shots and layups i like to be able to time my layups and obviously time my shots jump shot visual cue is a new thing this year you guys get jump set point push or release Personally, I like to use set point, but this is all personal preference. Just because I like set point doesn't mean you're going to like set point. This, you're going to have to test out and use and mess with on your own. Jump shot meter, turn that off. You guys get the boost with no meter. Layup meter, I like to use so that I can see it whenever I'm driving in the paint. Shot meter location, I always put it to the side. Make sure it's large so whenever you guys are going up with the layup, it's pretty easy to find that green window. Then if you guys want to pause the screen at any time, here are the rest of my settings. If you guys want to copy them exactly, 
feel free. Now I'm gonna show you guys the second variation of this build. So our first and last name doesn't matter. Like you guys see, subscribe to Clutch Up Next. If you guys happen to be new, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Hand in this, we're gonna go left-handed, like I said. Jersey number doesn't matter, so let's continue. The position of the alternative build is a point guard as well, and we are going to go six foot six, minimum weight, in the same wingspan, which is seven foot one inch. Now it is time to set our potential on the second variation build. Now I'm gonna explain everything once this build is created, so just follow along. Our close shot, we're gonna bring this up to a 53 over. Overall, our driving layup, we're going to bring this to a 73. Like I said in the last build, you don't need anything more or lower than like a 70, 73, 75. You will be perfectly fine with that for your driving layup. Our driving dunk, we're only going to bring this up to a 40. And then that is it for the finishing category. You might not think this is good, but let me explain in a little bit. All right, let me explain. Our mid-range shot, we're going to bring this up to a 70 as well. It's not that much improvement from the last build, but this is where this build changed. We're bringing this three-point shot all the way up to an 85. We're going to hold off for our free throw right now. Now we're going to put on our pass accuracy. Bring this all the way up to a 77. Just like we did in the first build variation. 77, in my opinion, is just the perfect pass accuracy. Ball handle, we're bringing this up to a 93. So we get Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Speed with ball, we're maxing this out. You should be at an 86 speed with ball. Interior defense, we're going to bring this up to a 60. Our perimeter defense, we're going to bring this up to an 87 as well, which gives us gold challenger. Our steal, we're bringing this up to a 92 overall. Wait, I lied. We're bringing this to a 95. Now for our block, we're going to bring this up to a 72, just like the other build, which is amazing. And then for our speed, we're able to bring this up to a 90 our acceleration can go up to an 89 and then i maxed out my stamina but i realized something what you're gonna have to do is bring your steel down to a 93 and then what you'll be able to do once you bring your steel down to a 93 you're gonna be able to max out your acceleration you're gonna be able to max out your stamina and then you guys can put the finishing touches on your free throw so if you guys take a look at this build right here we lack in the finishing category, okay? Now, like you saw in the first build, you only get one contact dunk. It's a pro contact dunk. You guys don't think dunking is that important for how you play, your play style? If you rather just get a layup, this is the build you wanna go for because you get a higher three-point shot, you get an 85 three-point shot, you get a 93 ball handle, which gives you Hall of Fame ankle breaker, an 86 speed with ball, which is insane, gold bull black, gold speed booster, gold hyper drive, gold triple strike, an 87 perimeter defense with a 93 steel and a 77 block max speed max acceleration max stamina this build to me is insane you're gonna be a menace you're the max speed you can possibly be with a 93 steel you're gonna get every single rip that you want gold glove gold interceptor gold right stick ripper the only thing is i just know people are not gonna like driving dunk but your play style doesn't rely on dunking the ball every single possession. You guys are able to create a shot from the three-point line, mid-range. And if you guys are good with playmaking, you guys are going to be able to get so many shots off. And then for defense, this is a really solid build. 93 steel is great. 87 prim defense, 93 steel, 77 block. That's fire. The second build variation is called a two-way three-point shot creator. If you guys like these builds, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. And let me know in the comment which one you think is better, build variation one or build variation two. Like I said, it all goes based off your play style. Click that subscribe button. Happy holidays to everybody who celebrates Christmas. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.